Unfortunately, it's a true fact that any battery chemistry right now used in electric cars can catch fire. Other than solid state batteries, which appear to be many, many years away still, according to experts who are trying to tell us all the truth. So therefore, that means, yes, while EVs are far safer and far less likely to catch fire than a gasoline-powered vehicle or a diesel-powered vehicle, they still can. However, that could be about to change. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Great to have so many new subscribers. And a big thanks and shout out to our Patreon supporters and our YouTube members. If you want to be a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter, I'll put some links in the description below. So what is going on here and what on earth am I talking about? Well, before I get to this incredible new technology, I'd love to see you at the fully charged live shows. The fully charged, if you haven't been before, it's the biggest electric car show in the world, period. And the first one I'll be at is in April. And the first one I'll be at is in March this year in Sydney. Then there's another one in April in London and another one, another show in Los Angeles, in San Diego, Los Angeles in October. So I'd love to meet you there. If you're there, come and say hi. There's a new electric mixture that pre may prevent electric vehicle batteries from catching fire. This has recently been discovered and appears as though it could be a real solution. Lithium-ion battery fires may not be all that common. In fact, they're not common if you use lithium-ion phosphate chemistry. They're very rare. If you use lithium ternary batteries, which are nickel-based batteries, they're still very rare, but more likely. However, fires still are a concern. You really don't want your car burning down if you can avoid that. You don't want your house or your garage burning down if you can avoid it. Just ask electric vehicle makers such as LG Chem and Samsung. Now, LG Chem are in the midst of many recalls worldwide for their energy storage batteries, not just for their batteries in EVs, but also for their batteries that just sit there doing nothing. They're having problems as well. Thankfully, research at Stanford might reduce the chances of those devices lighting up or ever possibly or ever setting themselves on fire when the most common reason they do so is, is in the event of a crash. Scientists at Stanford have developed an electrolyte, the substance that carries lithium ions between electrodes, that won't catch fire even at temperatures of more than 140 Fahrenheit. The trick, it turns out, was extra lithium salt. The team added as much of a particular lithium salt as possible to a polymer-based electrolyte, bumping the mix from less than half of the electrolyte's weight to 63%. The lithium salt acted as an anchor for flammable solvent molecules, preventing them from catching fire. The combination lets a lithium ion battery continue functioning at temperatures as high as 212 Fahrenheit. That's extremely hot. And the big thing here is that it might not make all that much difference to current battery technology. They might be able to just simply add this new lithium salt into current existing battery manufacturing. Unlike other attempts at non-flammable electrolytes, the polymer-based design is gooey and can fit into existing lithium-ion battery components. That lowers the cost and lets companies use their current manufacturing processes. Okay. As soon as you hear that, you realize this is a possible technology that really, really may very well be used. I mean, up until this point, it's all just like theoretical, right? When you hear that, when you can hear that they can use this into current existing battery technologies, current existing production lines, that completely changes the way we should look at it. You can see the technology reach real world products quicker than rivals that would require custom and potentially expensive production methods. This is not expensive at all. There's no mention of near-term attempts to commercialize the new battery tech yet, which was funded by the Energy Department in the United States. However, the researchers already see multiple benefits for electric cars. The design could not only lower the risk of EVs catching fire, but increase their range as well. Automakers frequently need to space lithium-ion battery cells to prevent them from heating each other. This advancement would let companies safely pack more batteries into a given area, allowing either higher capacities or more spacious interiors. Pack energy density could be significantly improved as a result, and it's also possible the amount of cooling needed could be reduced. 
that could reduce the weight of the car and potentially provide longer range. This could also prove useful for phones, laptops, and mobile devices where space and safety are priorities. And the thing with phones and laptops, kind of mobile devices, watches, etc., they rarely have any thermal management. They don't have the ability to put a fan in a, a smartphone, right? Or to put any sort of cooling plates in a smartphone. So they actually, dig, the batteries degrade really quickly. You probably see your iPhone, you've had it for two years and you're like, whoa, the battery percentage is down to 85%. Well, they had this thing for two years, don't even use it that much. And well, one of the key reasons, you put the phone in your pocket, it's hot in your pocket, the battery's hot, degradation happens really, really quickly. If you go to colder climates, you'll notice that beta redegradation in your mobile phone or your laptop happens slower. Heat is your enemy. Now, obviously, stopping that heat generation, you know, like a laptop like I've got right here, it's not too bad. Thermal management in a laptop is much better. There's more space involved there. You can have fans in them, etc. right? And generally, you don't put a laptop in your pocket, which heats it up even more. Phones, you can see why battery life is significantly decreased compared to EVs and laptops. You might eke out more runtime on a charge or worry less about a fire in your pocket if you had this new technology. It could hugely benefit the entire industry. This discovery wouldn't prevent fires resulting from damage completely. Could prevent some though, but it would provide incredible reassurance in everyday use and a whole host of other benefits. This is one of the best new discoveries that I've seen in the last two years since starting this channel. I'm very, very excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And hey, as always, remember, technology is getting better. It's improving. Products that we get are getting better. Remember what we had 10 years ago? It was crap. Now we got what we got today. Really good. What are we going to see in 10 years time from now? Battery packs with this stuff in them, possibly. Lithium ion battery cells that have higher energy density, safer. Sodium ion cells that have this in them. Who knows? The future is amazing. Thank you for watching, my friends. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.